All right, hello everyone. This is 707 Rose Town with another video. This time we're gonna draw Mega Hound Doom, and it was suggested by uh, by somebody in the comment in my last video. So I just want to give a shout out to him. Um, and this time we're, um, I got this pose from Google, and it's just the regular pose where you're just looking straight. And I'm trying to uh, get poses or try to make them um, get pictures because we are copying not tracing but copying I'm trying to reproduce that picture so it's called copying and um i'm trying to get some that are easy because they do take a long time to do so yeah so first we're gonna start with the circle and this is my first time drawing them mostly all these drawings are my first time drawing them but but I have um I have some tips that could work for anything, so they apply for any drawing that you guys are doing. So um yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is the shapes. Um right here I'm doing the uh, splitting in half, that way we can know where's the middle. For example, we can know where the nose is, and then let's say let me work a little bit more on the head so just do the circle and then split in half now we're gonna do the top of the head which is kind of square it's not roundish as a roundish to it but mostly square and it goes down at an angle kind of like curve and it's the same on the other side so you guys could do a line going across just so you guys could like be even but this one's kind of curved the other way because shows that it's behind so we're gonna do it the other way and then it just has a straight line right here and um right here it just curves it's mostly just curving all right and um so the eyes are on this level where the horn starts so this is the line where the eyes are gonna go, the level where they are. So I'm gonna do another line and just try to make it even to this one, uh, about that, that big. And um, now we know that the eyes are have to fit in here. So we'll save that for later. Um, those are just details that we'll do um, with the thinner pencil I'll be using a mechanical pencil right now we're just trying to get the basic um, shape of it the rough sketch if you will to um, get a better idea once we start doing the actual picture so yeah so now we got that done let's see um I guess we could work on the nose just to help us um, know where the chin is so I'm um, say it's not gonna be exactly like that, it's just a rough sketch. Like that. This is the chin of the mouth. And then the chin should be a little bit under that. So it should be like this. And it curves like that. So this is gonna be the, the shape of the head. And this is the mouth area. It's gonna have its um features like this, just so you guys get a better idea. But we'll do that once we add the details with the other pencil. So now that we could have this done, we could base the rest off of that. So it does have a, a long neck, so we're gonna say around there. And I guess we could continue this line just to help us place it. Um, I guess we'll go all the way down doesn't hurt like that and it might be a little bit off-center but doesn't matter um, hopefully you guys um, have it centered um, so yeah so on this side let's say we do a line um, it's not 
it's not the same both sides so when it curves it should be a little bit higher than this one so we can see around there which is gonna go like this and then we're gonna do the we'll what color a color like a bone color because it does look like a bone color um coming out remember this is just a rough draft so it's not gonna be perfect it's just gonna help us know what we're doing once we start doing the actual drawing so just try to follow me um you guys could pause the video um I'm, i can do this step by step like actually um spend more time it's just that my videos tend to be really long and um i don't want that because i want to make it easier on you guys not waste that much time and then also for me because it takes so long to render um, the videos and to edit them and to um, put them just basically just to put them out there because um, you guys may not know it or realize it but all right let's say for example this line right here sorry about that it's a message um, we're just gonna continue it gonna go straight and then we're gonna stop and stay around there we'll just continue it this way like this from this one like that and that's just to help us uh, place because he has some teeth right here um, but yeah like I was saying um it does take a long time to edit these videos and to uh, make them so I would appreciate likes or at least subscribe you know what I mean or the other way around uh, subscribe or at least a like because it does take a long time to make these videos a lot of effort um, you guys may not realize it but it, it does take a long time to do all these videos for example it takes around an hour just to draw the video all right so they all connect to this line so I'm gonna say like that and um and then try to make it even so on the other side around the same side like that but we, those are just details that we can work on a little bit later so basically just try to get the shape and uh, mostly all the Pokemon are complicated so I'm sorry if um you guys get lost or or you guys don't find it really useful um it's mostly for people who uh, have a a better idea of drawing because it's really hard to show uh, how to draw uh, Pokemon with um like really complicated Pokemon with uh, all right with um really complicated Pokemon with easy steps for beginners so I'm sorry so now let's pretend we're gonna do the 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 body so this is just to help us place where the legs are gonna be. This line does not exist. It's under that it's just to help us place um hound doom um just legs. So I'm gonna say around here. And they just continue down. And then he has a horn that comes out. Don't make it beyond this one. You guys can do another line and then just curve it up. So it's like this so yeah I'm sorry that I could do easier Pokemon and do them step by step way better but like I said that's only if uh, you guys want me to but don't expect for Pokemon for some Pokemon to be easy because they are kind of complicated so it is gonna be a little bit hard or tough for people who are um, kind of new at drawing or especially little kids um so yeah so just have that in mind and it's gonna be like another leg like this is the the torso and then let's say it's gonna be another leg off the middle of this bone so just go straight and then we're just gonna try to get the shape of the other leg which goes around here and then just comes down like that 
and um we don't have to do this right now but let's just try to get that off and once we start drawing we'll start fixing the legs and everything so yeah so just basically try to follow me or at least try because I suggest you guys see the picture that you guys are drawing the one that I'm drawing right now that way it can help you guys get a better idea what of what I'm doing and like I said this is complicated picture so uh, Pokemon so I'm really sorry if you guys can't um can't follow but um as you guys can see it's starting to look like I'm a little bit starting to get the shape and that's what we want we're not trying to get it perfect we just want to see the the shape of it for example he has some bones and then his tail's coming out but we're not gonna do the tail right now but we could do just a rough sketch or outline of where it's gonna go so like this and that's just for now but yeah so now we can start working on the on the horns so they're just straight lines going up and try to make them even and then like the same length going up and then just put them up do a bend on them and then try to make it not as long as this one but still pretty long so I'm gonna say around there and then just curve them straight up like that and make this one smaller than this one so we're gonna make this one smaller than this one and then this one smaller than this one so I'm gonna say like that and then you guys should just um, follow through and make it thinner as you go like that We'll just try to make it even. So like that. Um, it looks kind of off right now. These two ones, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We'll worry that about that when we get there. So basically, we got the shape as you guys can see. Maybe you guys can see uh, how I'm doing now. But um, yeah. So now I don't know if we should do the legs or we should just wait. But I think I'll do them just so I can get them out out of the way. And his legs are the same length from the torso as it is from the torso to the head. You guys get that? So for example, you put the pants on, let's say it's around here. So this should be around the same length going this way. So we, we're pretty close. I'm just do a little bit lower. This one too. So I'm gonna say around there, and then we can work on that leg after we start doing this one, because we're gonna base this one off these, and uh, the same goes for the one back. So yeah, so like that. So now that we got most of the shape done, we're gonna start adding the details, and I'm using a mechanical pencil, and the reason I use it is because it's thinner, the, the lead is thinner, and it's a little bit darker so yeah so now we're gonna work on the nose because that's gonna be the starting point and then it's just kind of like a round rounded straight line and then it just goes down like that all right, so now we got that done. It's not that triangle shape, but let me just fix that. It's not like like straight up triangle shape, kind of like a rounded triangle shape. But all right, so after that, we're gonna start doing the features um, on the face. For example, yeah, he, ha he has like orange on the snout, so. It starts off like right on the edges of the nose. So we do a straight line from the nose. We do a straight line. Um, I probably did the nose too big. Cause I just erase the nose and do it a little bit smaller. 
Alright, like this. And then let's do it again. Um, that seems a little bit better. And then let's say the point should be around here because it is lower than the head. So just do a straight line like that. So, yeah. And then let's work on that. Let's just come do the, the nose. Alright, and then probably like around here. We're gonna do the the mouth area. Let's just do this shape right here of the mouth, like if he's not smiling or he's frowning. I mean, so then it's gonna go down at the angle, and then we're gonna follow that with this line like that. So try to make it even on both sides and then um, for example this one's a little bit too far but I was just doing that to show you guys to make it even and then he has his teeth right under this line so like that go straight down like that now we're gonna do the, the mouth and it's just right on the teeth line or the chin I mean yeah so like that now we can start doing the rest so the tooth is right at the end so they just go up and connect these like that and then um they don't connect on this side so let's just make a line like this it's um not the same angle as this one, it's a little bit more to the side. And then just do a straight line up. It reaches this line and then just connect it. So basically like that. We could erase the middle now. Let me just redo this, clean it up. It goes up like that. Like this. Now let's just complete on this side. So let's take out a little bit like that, make it even, make a point. So around the same height as that one. So around this line, let's just go straight down. Now we got the snout done. So now I guess we could work on the eyes. And this line seems a little thicker than it should, but it doesn't really matter. Now the eye starts around here and it ends around here. It doesn't go all the way to the side. So I'm going to say in this point, try to like do this line going to this point. And um, so the same thing on this one, but on this side is going to be closer to that. So like that, do the same line. And they should be the same length since we did put these reference lines. And it should end around the same place like this. Now just try to connect those lines. And then just curve right here, small curve. And it's straight line like that. So there's the point. Goes a little bit up and then just connect them. And just go straight. Like that. Now we got the ice done. Now we can do the eyeball. It's just, just a small circle. And it has a really small gap right here. Like I always see the triangle shape right here. And it has a larger gap on this side. So we're gonna try to match that. Make the same gap here. And the same gap on this side, the same length. So I'm gonna say like that. Now we got that done, we can start working on the rest of the head. So remember this side is rounded off. So I'm just gonna follow the, the shape that we had at the beginning. So like this. And then this, the top of the head is kind of rounded, but it's at the same time it's still, it's still kind of flat. So like that. And 
we could have started racing the lines that we did before that way they won't confuse us and um, he looks better so those were just so they could help us place everything as you can see it helped um i kind of see that this side is a little bit bigger but we'll fix that a little bit later um and the reason i really can't see is because um, i'm kind of far away from the picture i don't want to put my head over the picture like most of you are um because then i'll block the paper or the, the view of it so yeah so it looks kind of bigger um so we'll fix that a little bit later i'm sorry if um it's like that but yeah you guys have a better view than me all right so we're just gonna do a straight line right here and then around the same line where we put the last line do a little bit higher we're gonna do this just straight line around here and just get try to get really close to the snout and then curve up do kind of like a straight line and then around under the eye just that's where the point is and just curve it like that Like that. Now he does have another line uh, here under this too. All right. So now we got that done. Let's just do this, the neck area. Go straight down. This one comes out around uh, here. And go straight to where we put it. A little line like that. I guess we can start doing the horns. Just get them out the way. Since we already got this done. And it's just straight line up. So let's just try to follow this and then just go straight up and then do a straight line. Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys can hear the car outside. Um, yeah, so now you do this line. Start over here. And we'll meet up in the middle. So along this one is it should be a little bit thicker on this side at the bottom closer to the head but really doesn't matter once you start I'm um, doing this band it should be thinner so it is kind of round and pointy pointy and it's just trying to meet up with this one like that um I wish I could get closer because having trouble but yeah, so now let's do this one. Um, do this design just to help me place them. And it does help. Maybe you guys don't think so, but it does help. So I know it should be around to that line. And then it just curves up. And then we can use this line as a reference. It's around there. Go straight up. So that's perfect. You see there. Just try to get the same angle and shape. So like that. And then it curves right close to that line. So around here. So just connecting. Like that. And if it doesn't seem right, you could you guys could always fix it after. I always end up just doing the outline and try to do it. And then if something doesn't seem right, for example, the eye, I change it once I got most of it done. That way I get a better idea of how it should look. So now we can do this right here. It's part of the, the bone, collar bone, bone collar. So then this line just meet up with this one right here. So it just curves. And then, like we said, this one should be higher. So I'm gonna say around there. And just meet up with this one. Like that. Now we can race the middle. As you guys see, we're starting to get the basic um, uh, look of him. Get a better idea of how he looks. Or he's gonna look, I mean. And then do a straight line. Move around here. And we're gonna do the other side. So just try to make it the same um, thickness as that one. 
although they are a little bit different but just try to make them the same thickness so like this and now we're gonna do the next one which is which comes off this one comes off around there just a little bit and then it just curves up around goes higher than this one so I'm gonna say around there and then it just curves straight up to around I'm gonna say higher than the eye not close to the bone I mean not touching the bone but just higher than the eye and then I'm gonna work on the this line right here and then Let me see, I don't like that line. Kind of goes further this way, so like this. And um, let me check on my battery or memory, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So let's see. Now let's start on this side. It's gonna start a little bit higher than on this side. So let me see around here, and it's not that angled. Let me say around here and curves up to around the same height as that or basically the same height and we're gonna do the thinner line here because I like where we put it so we're gonna follow through with that and um this one is gonna be way um thicker than this one so let me see around there where we first place them like that now we can do the other side and it's way thinner but and it's even all the way down to around here so like that all right now we got that done let's start looking at the place we're gonna put the this line right here where it curves up and to the side so let's see this is the hard part or i guess we could just continue with these and then um once we um get more done we'll get a better idea so then from here it's just a straight line this way like where we placed it before and then this side should be as thick as this side or at least close to it so i'm gonna say around there straight line to where this one curves so there and just connect them like that um it should be a lot thinner but um, let me see I don't like that because in the picture it's way thinner than that so I'm gonna erase it and then start from here and just uh, I think that's better now and it is it, this should it, it should be close but it should be smaller um if you guys are looking at the picture then you guys know what i'm talking about so then let's say we're gonna go about that far just continue this line to about here it should be uh longer than this one right here and just i guess we could do the middle one first and then we're gonna stop around you go to this line, so around here, and then this is where it goes straight to this one. And we're gonna follow this line. Like you do a straight line, we're gonna follow it like that. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing over here, like that. So it follows through. We're gonna say. So the straight line here. That way we know where it veers off. So around there. So now we can start doing this one. So I'm gonna say to here. And then we'll do the middle line. Which makes kind of like um this shape right here. It's kind of like a spike. And then this spike 
just viewing stuff and it becomes that one like that so now we can do the other side of this bike the straight line I don't like it let me see so it should be around here still straight line should be really thin um right here goes down doesn't match up and then just connects to this one these lines just just so we could um so it won't confuse us like that clean that up a little bit all right now we got um this based on that so now we could um just keep going and let's complete this one so this one goes to around not under this one so before that so right there is perfect and then just goes this way and then before it gets to the original line it stops and then it meets up with this one so like this this again and then um, there's no gap on this one all right so we can erase the inside of that so now we can erase these get a better idea so he's kind of complicated. I'm sorry if you guys um, can't follow through. And um, what I could also do is, if you guys really want me to, I could do parts um, and just go a little bit um, slower to help some of you guys. But it depends. I don't know if what I'm doing is helping you. Like right now, I don't know if this tutorial is really helping you guys unless you guys tell me. So either sometimes you just want to watch a video where somebody draws or yeah I really don't know what if you guys are actually um liking to draw them or you just want to see a video of somebody draw drawing them. So now let's look for you just guess. Try to get them the same shape. Um I think that's perfect. And do this right here, just do a curved line. Uh the other one same side on the side and then one in the middle and just try to make them the same size and for them to fit which thing we succeed on that so now we're going to do the the spikes right here and it's just a triangle and um yeah they're basically the same sizes from the nose to this so that's perfect right here do the other ones And um, yeah, they, they're like the same size, all three of them. So that's good. Now we can start doing the rest of the body. So then around here, I'm gonna say, start doing the leg like this. And then I'm gonna stand off here right at the corner where the teeth meet this line you can just line up like this all right so let's just start doing this one which comes around like this line and do a little bit lower because it's not straight it's curves down here like that so I'm gonna put the horn around here and then just do a straight line and um it comes lower like this line is smaller than on the bottom so like that and then the rest comes out from this corner and then it just kind of goes down it's not a perfect circle to around right here we do a line yeah. kind of it's kind of like an X shape if you will and just connect them so if you do like a full circle you'll get this egg shape 
don't know if you can see it, I'm doing it right now, like that. So that's what I mean by an egg shape. Put that horn there, so now we can raise the insects. Like that. Now let's do the other one, which comes out exactly on this corner too. And it doesn't go lower than this line that we did before. So now we know where to place it. You do a line coming off on the straight line from here. There. Just goes down. And then right here just do like this. Doesn't go further than this. By a lot. And just meet up with this one here. a little bit more Something like that it's too thick for in my opinion so I just redo that so there's a lot of erasing when you're drawing so I like where that is and <laughs> it is gonna look thicker or bigger than this one because this one we're looking at it at uh, side view and this one we're looking at is like kind of straight on so yeah so now we got that one done we can start doing the rest uh, I guess we can start doing the torso the torso goes close to this point so we're just gonna do a straight line and kind of curve it down like this and then we can do the pattern on the stomach like this meets up with this one curves a little bit and meets up this one like that so now let's do the other side this one right here this one meets up with that one curves down and then just goes down like this that's basically his stomach or the torso now let's do the other leg so the other leg comes out around here and then just do a straight line and then this one too like that now the challenge is to try to get these legs the same thickness so i'm gonna say like this and um it should get thinner as we go so uh, yeah, let's see like this so i don't like this line I'm gonna start it off here. Go to around here. And just curve it up. Like this. And they look the same thickness, so we'll do this before uh, let's do this before we keep going further. Now right here there's like another bone. I guess these are the bones on the back so it doesn't go further than this it's around there and then yes the stomach area right there and the other foot comes off that one like this makes this triangle right here and the other leg comes off around here close to where it was come Mm, it curves like that. You just try to get them the same thickness as the rest, or else it's kind of like it's gonna look a little bit off. And then off this one, you're gonna do like a spike like that, and then you just do like a circle. I'm gonna say to around here, so like this. Do another one like off that one. Do the, do the, this. Like so, and the tail comes off this one. So I'm gonna say around there. 
like that and then we just keep going with the tail um, but first I want to do the legs so I'm going to say the same length from here to here going down so I'm going to say around here we're going to start doing the little I don't know what they are the bones on the legs so I'm just cut them off right there and, and kind of make them like curved lines and then a little bit I don't know, say here a little bit higher close to the point and then um, so let's say this is gonna be the leg right all right so a little bit further away from this line this um, so I'm doing around this long so you do another line over here like this and then just go to a straight line around here and do another straight line and just connect it like that do the same thing on this side curve a little bit more and go straight line and just meet up here um doesn't kind of looks off a little bit does it yeah it kind of looks off but we can fix that after I you know what we'll fix it right now why not like this that's it we'll leave it like that for now and then go lower and then around uh, here there's another one so if we placed another one of these here so it would be out around here where it would end we're gonna start the other one and then the same thing to the right just keep continuing continue then around there and then come on come on a little bit and just try and do them the same thickness and length as those I'm so straight line and just curve some here like that and then right here curve to the sides a little bit and we basically have the pop just do a straight line like this even on both sides do a straight line down and it just kind of looks like a bone there like just do that just for now now we can base the rest of the legs with this one i don't know yeah it's all right so now let's base this one so we know that Just do a straight line, do a straight line, do a straight line, do a straight line, and do a straight line. Like that. So now we know where to place the rest of the leg. So we're going to go to this one. We're going to place, I guess we can just keep going to this one. And remember, try to um, make them the same thickness as this one. So we are a little bit off. So around here, we'll curve it a little bit more in. Like that. Now this one looks off. So like that. Now we could do this one over here. Uh, but this one changes so this one around here straight line and kinda, it's kind of like straight line right here like this makes this shape right here um, so yeah now we can start Working on the other leg, which comes up a little bit higher, so um, let's 
start off here to this one and stop this one and then right here kind of curves this way and then it just rounds the other way this way and this two around here like that now this one goes a little bit higher curves in and then just follow this line right here and it's gonna be a little bit thinner since it is um further away um does that look weird or maybe it's just we haven't finished this so yeah go with that now we start doing the other one keep doing it straight lines um, and the back legs don't have the bones so do this line and then base the other one on this one goes to around here curves this way and then it just curves down Here. Mix this. Here we're here. Now we can do the rest. Then we do this one. Like that. Does that look alright? Hopefully that looks alright. I'm having a hard time looking at the picture. Mm. Let's just get those legs out. Um, let me stand up and get a better view of it. Um, I guess we could thicken the legs um, a little bit more. And now that I look at it, the size is way bigger. But we can fix that right now. Mm. So I'm just going to thicken the, the legs right here. Now I'm close to the torso a little bit more. Just so one look kind of they don't look scrawny. So let me do that right now. So we'll just change this one. This one. Gonna follow through, just make it a little bit longer. And it. Like that. Maybe it does go to here like that now we can work on this one which kind of like we're gonna leave that one and we can work on this one say so wait let me change this right here my little brother screaming at me and like that um is that alright I think that's alright um it's not gonna be perfect um you guys could fix it if it's not perfect and now that we got most of it done now is when you guys can start um, fixing it that's what I meant when getting more done um, now let me just add these right here and, and this side comes a little bit further okay, so, and then these help a lot and we know what to place them it's curves it's just down like that and, and 
pumps out like that. Um, like that. For some reason, this one looks way bigger than this one. Those things. Hmm. I'm guessing because it doesn't fill out completely the square, so let's fix that. Start doing this bone right here. Going soft right here. Comes around here. Comes out a little further. Straight line. Goes like this. And um, you guys can fix these. However, you guys see them. Like this. like that so yeah now we'll start working on the claws mm, let me just check on my memory um, right now say I don't know if I have enough time but um I will be doing the outlining it outline and and pen and the speed um part where I'm painting with markers I'm not the best painter and I don't have a lot of selection with markers so um I'm gonna uh, fix this I'm gonna fix the eye I'm gonna fix wherever I don't like for example the feet um uh, out of video and then I'll show you guys where I outline it and where I color it. So I just want to say thanks for watching. And um, leave any suggestions of any Pokemon. But remember the, the difficult, um, the level of the, how difficult it is. So keep that in mind. And um, please like the video since, like I said before, it does take a long time to make these videos. And I, I would really appreciate um, a like. If you guys could subscribe, please subscribe. I will be doing a lot more videos. So yeah, hopefully I helped you guys and thanks for watching. 707 Rose Town.